about Romeo? Yates. Keats. How about Shelly? Come on, the four of us, dinner, Friday night. You and Shelly, me and Felicia. Well, Felicia doesn't know about Shelly? No, I love Felicia. Come David, on. I don't think you know what love is. Love is what feels good. Are we going to go out or not? <laughs> I'll think about it. Huh? Okay, Romeo. Just remember, Romeo wound up dead, Romeo. The guy looks at the man with potatoes in his ears and he says, Hey, buddy, you've got potatoes in your ears. And the guy says, I know I couldn't find any bananas. Huh. Hell, just not. I know exactly what I'm going to have. Um, I'll have the clam casino to start with, and then the veal piccata, and may I also have a small salad with no tomatoes. Shall we? I just have no idea. What are you going to have, Elgin? A hamburger. Hamburger, that's a great choice for an Italian restaurant. I think it sounds delicious. I'll have one, too. Mm, maybe I'll have a hamburger. I'm going to have the fettuccine to start and then the uh, salt and bocca alla romana. Wait, that sounds perfect. Sure. Uh, what's the specialty of the house? Chicken cacciatore is pretty good. Chicken cacciatore? <laughs> now that's what I actually want. One chicken cacciatore, two hamburgers, one fettuccine, and a salt and bocca. All right. Oh, wait, I've changed my mind. No, 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 she hasn't changed her mind. Thank you. Do you know her? Oh, I hate that when you think you recognize someone. You'll probably wake up in the middle of the night and then think of it. Maybe he won't be asleep in the middle of the night. Uh, uh, do you have insomnia? Elgin, are you all right? You're sitting there like a stoned asshole. I hate that language. Food wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was, uh, expensive. I guess I'm going over to Felicia's for a while. Yeah, like approximately all night. Not everyone. Would you like to go out for a drink or something? I don't have any dope. I bet I can find your room. Once I've been someplace once, I'm just like a homing pigeon. My room? Yeah. Third floor. The second one on the left. Hey, you make your bed. I beg your pardon? I said you make your bed. Most men around here don't, you know. I don't make mine very often. Hey, I like you better than David, you know? You wanna know why? Why? Well, because David's so sure of himself. He's always positive he's gonna get a girl to bed. There's nothing shy about him at all. But you're kind of... Well, I think shyness is a wonderful quality. Strong, silent, you know, still waters run deep and all that. Hey, all been a busy day. What do you say, Michael? Hey, young man. A refill on the coffee, please. Yes, sir. Refill on the coffee. Having fun? <laughs> Oh, am I having fun. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm trying to have a cup of tea. What are you doing here? I work here. Hey. Uh, what are you drinking? Can I, uh... Oh. <laughs> what, can I get you some hot water? That'd be terrific. All right. Here we are. Now rest for the weary. Yeah. Are you okay? It's very hot. Thank you. You're welcome. No, I'm staring at your book. Why? It 
looks familiar. Madame Bovary. Bovary. Right. Are you studying him? I mean, are you in a course that... Uh... No. No, no, it's just something I always wanted to read. That's such a coincidence? You have no idea. Flaubert writes with such great precision, doesn't he? La Juste. He's one of the great masters. He... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't believe I just did that. <laughs> okay. Do you have some napkins or something? Oh, God. I ruined your book. I'm really sorry. Don't well, worry. It'll dry. It's really not the best edition anyway, if you don't mind my saying so. Translation is much too colloquial. It's not nearly as elegant as Flaubert's real style. I have a wonderful edition if you'd let me lend it to you. Please, young man. Wait. Would you, wait. Don't go away. I'll be right back in one second, okay? Yes, sir. Giving a class? I'm sorry, sir. What was it you had? Coffee. Coffee. Le mot juste, huh? That's for the coffee? Keep the change. There is no change. There was no coffee. Hi. Hi. Is Caroline Hedges here? Yeah, I think she's upstairs. Want me to get her? Yeah, please. Would you tell her that Elgin Smith is here? Oh, no. Tell her it's the Flaubert person. Monsieur Flaubert. I hate French. How you doing? Okay. I wasn't expecting you this evening. Oh, well, I had some time and I thought that your copy might still be wet, so... It sounded ridiculous, didn't it? It looks brand new. You shouldn't have done that. No, oh, I wanted to. Pour une fille et plein de grâce de quelqu'un qui est toujours gauche. Elgin Smith. Elgin. Thank you very much, Elgin. I appreciate it. What does it mean? Don't you read French? Should I? Well, you were reading Flaubert. Yeah, but in English. And I think I spent all that time on the verbs. Mm. They look very nice. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine, really. Well, would you like to come out and have a cup of coffee with me? No, but thank you. Okay. I hope you enjoy the book. <laughs>